1,900 years ago, a huge pit was discovered on a remote island in the southern sea of Beluska. With a diameter of around 1,000 meters, its depth remains unknown. To this day, no one has ever seen the bottom of the Great Pit. In a world where nearly everything has been uncovered and explored, it is the sole remaining unconquered castle. The Great Pit has a captivating power that sometimes takes hold of a person and refuses to let go. Valuable and dangerous primeval creatures, mysterious relics beyond comprehension, a city of gold set to rest in the far reaches of the Netherworld. For the past 1,900 years, all of these things and more have been luring people to venture into its depths. With a spirit of adventure for the unknown and countless legends luring them on, the Abyss has swallowed up enough lives to be worthy of its name. The peculiar force field in the Abyss prevents its observation from above ground. Therefore, surveying is carried out in person. The surveyors, each chasing the dream of striking it rich, would deliver their reports to the surface from deep inside the abyss by launching mail balloons. Those who challenged the giant pit began to be referred to as cave raiders. Right around the time that name stuck, their bases on the surface grew so large they surrounded the entire circumference of the pit. The city they eventually formed in time became Orf, the place people call home. Petrified trees are melted. I wonder what that light was. Maybe it was all in my head, but I feel like whatever drove that snake away was answering my plea for help. Maybe it was even my own personal knight in shining armor or something. I have to find out what it was. I'm gonna look a little bit further. I have to see it with my own eyes. A kid? I don't remember there being a kid who looked like this in the Red Whistles. Uh, hello there! Huh? 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 Oh, wait! He's not breathing! I have to hurry and resuscitate him! Huh? He feels... Huh? He's... not human! Machine? Wow! This is big! Never seen anything like this before! He's still warm. Must have been moving until just a moment ago. What fuel does he want on? Will food work? 
I mean, he's built like a human after all. Huh? But still, where did he come from? Someone there? Maybe we should try turning the power up a little bit? Children's voices? Whatever. I think I'll sleep a bit longer. Rico, set the dial to two. On it! Rico, I think it's actually on 20. What? What is that sticky thing, Rico? Right behind you. It's a silk thing. What do we do? Do we fight it here? No, I have a plan. Right to that edge. was that? What's wrong, Reg? Quiet, Rico. There's somebody here. I hear it. Where is it coming from? Over there. Someone's crying for help. Down on the ground there. It's a cave raider. I'll drive that thing away. Reg, wait! Don't go. It might be a trap. That thing's a corpse sweeper. They mimic their captured prey's cries for help. Anyway, they do that to lure more prey to their colonies. Which means that person's already... Irredeemable. Ah! Oh no, they're coming! Let's run, run! More of them are gathering up? How careless of me! Rico, there's going to be... No! Don't do it! What... what can I possibly do? What 
is this feeling my body remembers? I've done something like this before. Thank goodness, she's okay, but if that thing had hit Rico, just what, what in the world am I? Is this the right way to Seeker Camp? Yeah, we should be able to see it soon. I told you I know where we're going. Wow. So, this is Seeker Camp, huh? Whoa! It's really quite high up there. <laughs> So that brat's still alive. Incredible, isn't it? It blasts straight through. I've never seen a weapon like this before. Irredeemable! You're irredeemable, Ozen! Huh? What? What's with your arm? Is something embedded in it? Oh, these? They're called the Thousand Men Wedges. I inserted them at 120 points or so all around the body. They're the secret to my vigor. <laughs> For as much as you criticize me, you're quite superhuman yourself, Ozen! Well, I am attentive to such things. I'm getting on in years, after all. These are the last moments of your life. Enjoy them. Rebound from shooting the incinerator. I have to fight back. Hmm. What happened? You look rather limp all of a sudden. No. My consciousness is fading.
You're so noisy. If you think he's so precious, you should have kept him locked away. For some reason, he went limp all of a sudden. It's fine, though, right? Sooner or later, you'll revert back to being a piece of meat anyway. I... I... didn't descend into the abyss because I hope to live a long life. Even just a little longer is okay. But I... can't bear it if it's not together with Reg. Please, Reg, don't give up! That won't do. You two aren't cut out for it. Uh, uh, what happened? <laughs> he woke up. He is awake. Is he broken? Greg. What? What's going on? R Rico! You actually moved! Ray! Ray! I'm sorry, Ray! Sorry! Ray! Don't leave me like that! Did I just faint? And leave Rico all alone here? Even though I was told to take care of Rico. With those words, Ozen spoke of the secrets transmitted from the last dives of generations of white whistles, which are passed down via word of mouth by none but themselves. Perhaps those are the very deepest voices of the abyss people are capable of bringing to us. We heard about the cryptic device used to traverse the fifth layer's sea about how a white whistle's timbre acts as a key to activate a certain class of relics, about the mysterious ring of the seventh layer that only a few white whistles are said to have seen, and about the creatures that live along the path to the bottom of the netherworld called gatekeepers. They are shrouded in mystery. When Ozen said she hates deceiving children with silly tricks, she was telling the truth. From start to finish, the monster sitting before us held nothing back. Here. This is... I find it hard to say this, but... If you came back and said, it's impossible after all, it would be oh so nice. Maruk. I've seen off all kinds of people setting out on journeys they won't ever return from. But today is the saddest I've ever felt. Reg, and the child. As expected, they were quick to pick up on cave raiding techniques. Although. I didn't want to let them go until more memories came back. Well, nothing I can do about it. Right, Liza? Good grief. How irredeemable. How very irredeemable. Let's go, Rico.